Hello, uh, my name is Dylan Young, and today I am going to be covering how to get uh, Sitecore Experience Accelerator installed with Docker. If you haven't already, you should definitely check out the session I did on Sitecore PowerShell extensions. That's going to be a kind of a prerequisite to this uh, session because you'll need it in order to get a Sitecore Power or a Sitecore Experience Accelerator installed or SXA. Uh, let's get started there. Um, I don't believe I have the solution open yet, so let's just do a code dot, um, which will open up it in my uh, Visual Studio code. And then I'm going to make a series of changes to my environment. Uh, this is the same solution I've been using for all my other videos. And actually, this already has the Sitecore PowerShell extensions installed in it. So if we just take a glance at the CM real quick, you can see that we have the SPE module already installed. We have some other things installed. If you've seen all my other videos, you'll see all the other things I have. Um, referenced here as well. We'll leave those because they don't really affect what we're doing today. So a little uh, before we kind of jump into all the changes we have to make and we'll be ch making those changes to the Docker Compose file. Uh, before we do that, I want to just take a glance at what we're going to be trying to do here. So there is this module reference and I'm going to uh, put a link in the description below. It details what changes we need to make. And so this is the best place to, to go, go to this link and you can see all the other modules we've done uh, that we've created videos out of, but it gives a general idea. So this gives a general idea of what we need to do for SXA. We're actually not going to do the CD because we don't have a CD. We're doing an XP zero. So we don't have a CD instance. In this case, we could if we wanted to, uh, but we don't. So we're not going to do this, but we're going to do these other things. This is not correct for solar. So we're going to actually make a, a slight uh, difference here for this. We're going to use a solar init instead. Another thing that we're using for references is in the Psycho Docker images repository for GitHub. It lists out the assets that we need and the, the versioning, the tagging that's being used. So this is a great reference if you've not sure what what version we're going to use but we're using the latest of both spe which already has been installed and then we're using the latest of sxa xp1 xp1 can be used for xp0 as well and so that's why we're using xp1 and then we're just using this 10.1 because this video is on psychore 10.1 so okay uh that's all good and so now we can start jumping into our code changes that we're going to make we're not going to make them to docker compose as Remember, if you've watched other videos, we never make changes to our Docker Compose file. We're making those changes to our Docker Compose override file instead. So as you can see here, we've got some other changes that we made in the past. We have our SBM image for MS SQL. Uh, we have them also for CM and we could have one for solar init. We don't hear, uh, obviously, because we actually have to make those changes ourselves. As you saw from the previous uh, link I had open, we're basically going to need to, for, for SXA, we need solar changes, database changes, and CM uh, envi environment changes. And if we had a CD, we would have that as well. So let's just kind of get started with MS SQL first. So here is all the args that we're passing in. We're going to need to pass in a new arg for the, the image that we're building. For, for MS SQL. And so all I need to do there is just do X at SXA image site core Docker modules registry. And remember what that maps up to is this reference. So we're just saying where all the modules sit. And if you go back to that link where I have the list of all the assets and all the uh, images that are being built, it would basically have this path and then and then we just specify the 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 name after that uh, for the the repository and the tagging. So uh, just going back to um, the override file, all we need to put here is sxa, like I said, xp1 because xp0 there isn't one specific to that, but S xp1 works for this for the xp0. Um, 10.1.0 and then uh, 1809, which is a typical thing for that. So all our changes are done for MS SQL, at least from the Docker Compose override file. 
uh, we'll get into the changes actually in the Docker uh, Docker files themselves here in a second. I just want to do all the changes that we need to do to this Docker Compose file first. So we did that, MS SQL. Now we have some solar changes. So we're actually, we're, we don't have defined here as a solar init. We don't, we're actually not making any changes to it. So we're going to need to now specify this. We will do solar init. And we will specify an image for this. And these uh, variables will just allow us to create a very com um, custom image. So this is the image that gets generated from all the steps or build args that we pass in. And so this would then get built. If you had a similar process for this for a CICD pipeline, it would build these images and push these out to your container registry. So XP zero solar init and then version latest. And then we're going to have a build and we're going to specify context. I actually already have the, the context already created. I have this solar init folder inside Docker inside build. Inside that folder is a solar init folder and we have a Docker file already there and it already has the base stuff defined. So we'll, we'll make changes to that obviously, but since it's already there, we don't need to do any special work to create it. Um, we can just do this and then that should point to that, that Docker file that I just mentioned. And then we have some args and the args will be base image which will reference this Sitecore, Sitecore Docker registry, which is just the base image that we're gonna be using. And so this is Sitecore XP zero solar init and Sitecore version. And so that's the base image. So you pass that in and it just basically takes the base image of the Sitecore container registry that they have and builds a new image out of it. But right now it would just be basically the same contents that were in that base image would be in your, your new image. But what we want to do is we want to pass in the SXA stuff, the SXA image, so we can add that to that base image essentially is what we're doing. So to do that, uh, we will now do Sitecore, uh, Sitecore Docker modules registry. And then just do the same reference as above. Uh, we're basically specifying the same image because it just has different contents, different locations for the different things that we're trying to trying to move in. So, and we'll talk about that here shortly. That's really all we need for this. So that's been specified. So it'll basically, we'll, we'll have some modifications to the Docker file obviously, but this is all we need for the Docker compose file. And then lastly, we have some changes to our CM instance as well. Um, pretty simple, straightforward stuff. We just have to specify a new image, SXA image. Sitecore Docker modules registry. And then this will be S X A X P one assets 10.1.0 1809. So that's it. That's all we have to do for this Docker compose override file. So now we need to start making our changes to our Docker compose or talk Docker build files up here in Docker build. And then the, depending on the changes we have, CM, MS SQL, and our solar init. So let's just jump into solar init first because it's the most complex one, although relatively straightforward. All we need to do first is we need to specify a new arg for SXA image. And then we will define the multi-stage build parameter of SXA image as SXA. And then uh, just, I'm gonna copy in the two changes that we have to make uh, from a reference I have. So this is really all we have to do from SXA. We're passing in a specific core that we have for SXA. 
or, or a JSON file for SXA, and then that moves it in, and then it handles the rest. So that's all we have to do there. And then in the MS SQL, we will need to add, we already have SPE, so we don't need to go too far. We just need to add the args for SXA. And then again, uh, the multi-stage build parameter for this SXA image as SXA. And then I'm just going to copy in the changes that we have to make to MS SQL. Really, honestly, just very similar to all the others. Copying in some DB changes, and those DB changes are DAC pack files. And then we're just installing those DAC pack files is all we're doing. We're using a PowerShell script to do that. And so that's done there. I'll save that. And lastly, the changes to the CM. Again, super simple. We just need to define the new arg, arg sxa image. And then we just need to define the multi-stage uh, tag to it, uh, sxa image as sxa. And then we just need to copy that in. The SXA part is a little bit more complicated than the typical just copy. It just does some uh, initializing content. That's the additional step. So it, it has the CM content that it moves in right here. And then it also deploys this tools and the tools are basically the initialized content that's uh, pushing in, which is a PowerShell script that allows it to initialize some initial content for our SXA environment. So that's it. That's all we have to do there as well. It doesn't matter what order we put this in. I, I talked about this previously in other videos, but we could have done SXA down here. Obviously, if you have solution build stuff down here, it probably makes sense to have it before you do all the uh, solution build stuff. But it probably doesn't matter too much if you, as long as it's in a logical order, that makes sense. So let's just close all these. Um, and the Docker Compose file is ready. So all we really need to do now is start uh, spinning up our environment. So let's just go with this. Uh, one thing I forgot when I was practicing on my other solution is you should definitely clean out data because we're making a lot of database changes here. So we clean out all our folders here. Um, so now they're empty. This also cleans out our solar uh, uh, cores as well uh, that are volumes and so clear it, clear it all out. I also like to do um, a Docker system prune first just before and then there's nothing there. Um, and now all we need to do is do a Docker compose build and I always like to specify a no cache just so it's a fresh build. All right, the Docker build is complete. So we should be ready to just uh, go ahead and fire this up. Uh, so docker compose up dash D is all we need. And we'll just let that run. All right, as you can see, all the containers have spun up correctly. So let's go into our browser and go to cm.training localhost slash sitecore. If we get, like I said in previous videos, if you get a 404, this is just traffic throwing this. It means that your CM instance hasn't necessarily spun up all the way yet. So we can just refresh um, a couple of times and it should just start coming up at, at some point. So here it is, it's now spinning. So that means the CM is now kind of attached to traffic so that it will resolve to the CM instance. And so we'll just give it a couple more seconds and then Sitecore should spin up. It's coming up, it's passed us off to identity server for login. Pass, uh, login is admin B as typical fashion. And then it will take us back to identity server and then back to our CM instance here shortly. All right, here we go. Here's our launch pad. We'll see we have PowerShell, but we didn't talk, cover that in this course. If we go into the content editor, we should see that we have uh, the stuff for SXA installed. And that will basically conclude this video once, once I prove that. And uh, I will cover more videos on SXA specifically in the future. Not sure where that will fit into my current schedule, but uh, since I have videos on content of JSS and uh, SMS coming up, as well as some other kind of new age topics as well. So 
there's our load of that and we'll just go into foundation and now we have the experience accelerators that's sxa all things look like they're there so we should be good so that concludes today's video if you like this video please uh, like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, get the latest uh, content as i release it hopefully this goes well for you. If you have problems, please uh, comment below and describe your problem and we'll see what we can do to help or go out to the Psychor Slack channel or Psychor Slack community and list your questions there and uh, hopefully uh, it goes well. That's it for today. Thank you.